Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about a very underrated matchup. Nasserat Haparaz versus Jared Gordon. Nasserat Haparaz is 16-5, and 3-2 and in his last five fights. On a three-fight winning streak, minus 225 favorite, 5'10 uh, with a 72-inch reach, fighting Jared Gordon. 20 wins, 6 losses, 2-2-0-1, two, two, oh, uh, I mean, plus 185 underdog, 35 years old. Stands 5'9 with a 68-inch reach, 1-inch in height, and a 4-inch reach for Nasserat Haparast. The issue for this fight for Jared Gordon is just the speed and the combinations for Nasserat Haparast. Maybe he doesn't necessarily have the power to put Jared away. It's his speed and the, and the uh, accuracy that he would have. Maybe he could put him away. But I see a clear uh, decision win for Haparast in this one. I just think his ability to cover distance with his movement, his combinations, his takedown defense is pretty damn good as well. I just, I, Jared Gordon has to mix it up. And, you know, Nasserat being as hard as he is to be mixed up with, like, his takedown defense is pretty damn good. You know, strikes landing per minute 5.78 to 5.39. Accuracy is 44 to 57. Strikes absorbed per minute, 5.25 to 3.40. Defense is 64 to 57. A uh, takedown average is 0 0.31 uh, to 1.95, basically two. Accuracy is 20 to 40. Defense is 78 to 62. Again, I just, I, I don't see now how Jared Gordon's gonna implement his takedowns. Does he get one? Does he get two? Sure, maybe. I see Nasserat Haparas doing a really, really good job in this matchup. And kind of getting past this hump that he's had in his career and moving to 17 and 5. And he might be fighting the top top 17 or so in this after he beats Jared Gordon. But as always, guys, let me know what you guys are thinking. Subscribe, like, and comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.